Hello boys and girls, welcome to Jabba Lani's Playhouse. I'm Jabu and I'm Lani and today we're going to do more STEM stuff, right? Exactly, we're going to discover STEM, which is science, technology, engineering and mathematics. And this one is mechanics, levers and linkages, right? It sure is, there's 16 builds here, so we're going to get lots of videos out of this one. Be fun to build them. Are you ready boys and girls? I think they are Jabu, I'm ready, let's do it. Okay. Okay, so there's an overview. Here you can learn how levers are used to increase the force for lifting heavy objects and how they can change the direction of motion. Find out how you can create models with complex motion by connecting many levers together and learn how these linkages can be applied to various machines. Build 16 working models such as a seesaw, a movable weight scale, a wheelbarrow, a parking gate, a toy with moving figures, a pantograph and two types of linkages. You can find easy to follow building instructions for all models either online or in the booklet included. The booklet provides detailed explanations of the different scientific principles applied and incorporates innovative experimental activities for hands-on learning. A quiz section is also available to challenge your newly acquired knowledge. Okay. So we've got 14 pages of theory and amazing facts, seven pages of experimental activities, four pages of revision quiz and 13 pages of step-by-step -step instructions. Wow Jabo, that's terrific, hey? It sure is, Lani. Eight online instructions, eight printed instructions, six models for boys and girls 8 to 16 plus. Lever crane, wheelbarrow, we've got parallel scale, extendable arm. Wow. So the purpose of STEM education, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics is to provide students with necessary skills, knowledge, and experience in order to cope with the technological challenges of the future. Cool, hey? And we've got an extraction tool as well. Okay. This toy's won lots of awards, Lani. I see that, Jabu. It's made in Cyprus. Interesting stuff. I think we looked at that side and this side we didn't look at. Gives examples of some of the toys, what they look like when they're finished building. That's right, Jabu. Okay, let's look at the back and an overview of the back here. Mechanics, levers, and linkages. Gives you a whole bunch of different ideas here. Let's bring it in. See here, Archimedes once said, give me a place to stand on and I will move the earth, providing a very interesting example of how levers multiply force. How true is his saying? Levers are possibly the first tools used by mankind for moving large objects and have been used ever since in a variety of modern applications. When levers combine together, they form a linkage. As simple as they may look, the capabilities of linkages were not fully exploited until the 19th century. During the time of the Industrial Revolution, an amazing boom of mechanics took place and linkages were one of the most valuable components of almost every machine. So enter the fascinating world of levers and linkages and explore the magic of STEM. Wow, Jabu, that sounds like a lot of fun. I think it is, Lani. And this set includes an activity book with innovative experiments and detailed explanations of the different technological principles applied. Through hands-on activities, children become creative while also enhancing their knowledge in the particular subject. The book has been developed by qualified teachers and academics following the latest pedagogical trends in STEM education. What does pedagogical mean, Jabu? Well, it means to do with education. I see. A specific sort of plan of education, the way we are educated, sort of the science of education, if you will. I see, Jabu. So we can build a letter scale, build a parallel scale, build a lever crane, build a wheelbarrow, and a folding platform. Looks pretty cool, hey? Looks really good, Jabu. Let's get to it. You betcha. Open this up. Okay, let's see what we've got in here. Whoopsies. Wow, 
are not so good, isn't it, Lani? Let's top them out. So in terms of the stuff we got, we will be breaking these open next time to start building right away. This one has started to come open too. Hopefully there's nothing missing in there, Lani. And there's our little tool to help pull them apart because we have to pull them apart in order to build all of them up, right? Because once we build the one, then we have to break it apart to build the second one and so on. Okay. So I'm not going to read this whole thing to you. Boys and girls who are interested, they can pause the video to read all the stuff because there's a lot of stuff in here that we won't read. Like the theory, we'll get right down to the building instructions, starting with a seesaw on page 28. And then on the then we'll do the movable weight scale, wheelbarrow, parking gate, toy with moving figures, pantograph, pusillaire, lip king linkage, whatever that is, and a hearts A-frame linkage. That'll be interesting to learn about. Okay, so let's take a quick overview of the theory here. Wow. So there's uh, what we'll learn. The seesaw works on the principle of levers. There's the history of levers and linkages, the pyramids of Egypt. And it says here, during the construction of the Great Pyramid of Giza, about 2500 BC, which is almost 5,000 years ago, the builders used casing stones, cut blocks of limestone, which weighed two and a half tons each. In order to move these gigantic blocks, as there weren't any cranes around, ancient tools and methods were used. Ramps, slides, boats, ropes, and of course, levers. Wow. Then there's models of medieval trebuchets. And then here's a steam engine. Mechanical typewriter. Wow. I didn't know that they used le levers either, right? Did you know the watch linkage is used in the rear axle of some car suspensions to prevent relative sideways motion between the axle and the body of the car? I didn't know that, Jabu. That's very interesting. I know. Okay. We learn the definition of a lever. There's Archimedes using a lever to move a boulder. Elements of a lever. Force exerted by load. Force exerted by effort. Load arm, effort arm, the fulcrum. And there's classes of levers. What else do we have? Double levers. I guess a nutcracker is a double lever. So are pliers, interesting. Physical laws of moment. When we apply a force on a lever away from the fulcrum, we get a rotating effect which is called moment. Interesting, Jabu. That's going to take me a moment to think about. <laughs> You're very funny, Lenny. And then there's mechanical advantage. That's the formula for mechanical advantage. Levers belong in the category of simple machines. The ability of a simple machine to output a greater force than the input is called mechanical advantage. Then there's velocity, velocity ratio. Did you know the ancient Egyptians used an innovative version of a lever crane to carry water from rivers to their canals? On one end of a large beam they attached a bucket and on the other they put a counterweight. After the water is lifted the pole is moved to the other side so that the water is poured into a channel. Very interesting, Jabu. Wow. There's the velocity ratio. Interesting. You're very sciencey, Jabu. I know, it's good for boys and girls to learn about science. There's a first class lever. There's a diagram of a first class lever which looks like um, a letter scale of some sort. In the following images, you can see some examples of first-class levers. This is the most common and simple type of lever, in which the support point lies between the two ends. So claw hammer, scissors is a double, pliers is a double. These are all first-class levers. And then there's movable weight scale. Interesting. You can build that as well. Then the letter scale. There's an example of one. A letter scale is a weight measuring device used for weighing relatively light objects. Errors in accuracy scales. Sometimes mechanical accuracy scales show errors when measuring weights. This is caused mainly by the friction between the different parts. Very interesting, Jabu. I know. 
And there's a lever crane. A lever crane is a lifting device that is used mainly in ports for long shoring or in construction sites for moving large and heavy objects. This is fun, Jabba. I like learning about this stuff, hey? Me too. And there's second class lever. In a second class lever, the fulcrum is placed on one end, the input effort on the other end, while the output load is placed in between. Interesting. So a paper guillotine is an example of a second class lever and a nutcracker and a wheelbarrow. Swing. A swing is a sitting construction that hangs from two ropes or chains. When the swing is set in motion, it keeps on moving in an oscillating motion until stopped by a person or air friction. A swing can be transformed from a second class lever to a third class lever depending on the position where the effort is applied. That's very interesting, Jabu. Did you know the Chinese have invented a different version of a wheelbarrow by adding sails? We have records from 550 AD that Gao Kang Wu Shu had invented a wind driven carriage. That's very interesting, Jabu. That would have helped, hey? It sure would have. And then we get to third class levers. In a third class lever, the fulcrum is placed on one end, the output load on, on the other end, while the input effort is placed in between. Ah, interesting. Because the effort is applied between the fulcrum and the load, based on what we have learned on the balance of moments, a higher effort is needed to force the lift load as compared with the other two types of levers. There's a diagram of a third class lever. Here's examples like a tweezer, stapler, hammer, and golf club. How the human arm works. Our arm works as a third class lever. There's interesting, Jabu. There's a catapult. The catapult is a construction that was invented by the Greeks. Its name comes from the Greek words kata, which means against, and peltis, which was a small type of shield. Therefore, the catapult's meaning is a shield piercer. It was perfected by the Romans and used for projecting large arrows, javelins, balls of iron, or flammable materials in distances up to 800 meters. Wow, Jabu, that's pretty far. I think it is, yeah. This definition of a linkage. So in order to create a linkage, two things are needed. Rigid links, beams or rods, and joints. Mechanism. A linkage becomes a mechanism when an input force is applied at a certain point and produces an output force at a different point of the linkage. Interesting, Jabu. Very good for boys and girls who want to become engineers and such, right? Exactly. Linkages and simple machines. Disadvantage of linkages. Did you know many courts have a statue of Lady Justice outside their buildings? According to ancient Greek belief, the goddess Themis was the protector of law and custom responsible for keeping the political and social order. She was often represented as a strict woman who was holding two objects, a sword which symbolizes the power of reason and justice, and a set of scales for weighing the facts against or pro a law case. Scales function based on the principles of levers. Parallel motion linkage. Toolbox, folding platform, desk lamp, I guess those are parallel motion linkage. And there's extendable arm linkage, mechanical arm, I mean. We're going to build one of those in a folding platform as well. We'll build one of those too. The pantograph. The pantograph is a mechanism invented in 1630 AD by Christopher Scheiner. Based on the principle of uniform scaling, it is used mostly by artists and designers for creating a copy of an original image in two ways. Either a copy of a larger size than the original image, scale up, or a copy of a smaller size, scale down. There's the pantographic news. Very interesting. That is interesting, Jabu. I know. Did you know there was a special type of pantograph used extensively by the third U.S. president, Thomas Jefferson called polygraph. The device had two ink pens and the writer could produce an exact copy of a writing at the same time when the original was being created using the principle of parallelism. The president often used the device to produce copies of his numerous writings and letters. In fact, he liked it so much that he called it the finest invention of the present age. Hee <laughs> Jabu, that's not very uh, humble, is it? <laughs> no, not too much. And there's types of motion, linear motion, rotary motion, oscillating motion, reciprocating motion, there's other types of linkages, reverse motion linkage, and bell crank linkage. 
Well, I'd love to learn. We we'll have to take our time and read all of this as we as we have time, right? Exactly. There's a treadle linkage and a toggle linkage, and then the human knee anatomy, I guess, is some sort of a linkage, eh? Our knee has a special function which works similar to a toggle linkage. That's interesting, Jabo. I didn't know that. I know. There's a folding ladder. I guess we'll be building one of those too. Exact straight line. Pousselier Lipkin linkage. After James Watt's discovery of a linkage that produces an almost straight line in 1784, a race began against mathematicians and engineers for discovering a linkage that would produce an exact straight line. The solution was found by two independent scientists, first by Charles Nicholas Pousselier in 1864 and then by Yomtov Lipkin in 1871. Hart's A-frame linkage is a mechanism invented by Harry Hart in 1874. It converts rotary motion to a perfect straight line. That's interesting, Jabu. Did you know there is a three-dimensional linkage that also produces an exact straight line, the Saros linkage? Wow, Jabu, it's very interesting and very complicated for me, I think. And here we go, leaves and linkages. So these are some of the quizzes that we can use, or some of the um, questions or puzzles that we can do, some of the exercises. There's the seesaw, and this is the first class lever. Wow. Boys and girls can pause any time to uh, read through all of this, right? That's right, Jabu. And here's the second class lever. More exercises here. And then third class lever. You can get very busy with this toy, right? I know, lots to do here. And then here's types of linkages. And pantograph. It's got five star difficulty, so this is a pretty challenging exercise if that's what you're looking for, boys and girls. Exact straight line. And here's the quiz, exercise one, exercise two. Exercise three, exercise four, exercise six, and exercise seven on page 26. Exercise eight, exercise nine, and exercise 10 on page 27, and then we're going to start building instructions. You can see here, boys and girls, this is for the seesaw. So we'll let get going next time, right? Yes, please, Jabu. Thanks for joining us, boys and girls. Hope you enjoyed that. This is going to be fun with mechanics, levers, and linkages, if you're interested in that sort of thing. That's right, Jabu. I sure am. It's going to be fun to build these different 16 models, hey? It sure will be. So come back tomorrow. We're going to start off, and uh, let's see how long it takes to build the seesaw. Maybe one or two videos, maybe three. We don't know. Let's see. Yes, please. See you then. Bye-bye. Bye for now.